internet can be a wonderful thing, but also frightening. Just ask Diana Spencer, a Rochester mother of two teenage daughters. When I looked at the comments, I couldn't believe what these people were writing about, you know, everyone's children, and just really kind of appalled by the whole thing. Spencer says pictures her daughter posted on Facebook that are set only to be viewed by her friends ended up on a website she describes as creepy and inappropriate. We're not showing the site's name. The pictures of my daughter are from uh, where they were swimming at a lake. Pictures of them at a party with different girls, and they were they were dressed in normal street clothes, nothing inappropriate. And there's nothing illegal about it. Creepy, but not illegal. Sergeant Bill Lesbinski has seen this kind of thing many times before. He works for the Wayne County Sheriff's Department and also the Michigan Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. The site has categories of photos that have been viewed by thousands. They're labeling as jailbait, you know, pictures of, of young girls under the age of 18. Uh, none of them are nude or in any sexual positions, but you know, some of them can be provocative in bathing suits or maybe shorts. Lesbinski says kids need to understand once a photo is posted, it can wind up anywhere. Maybe out of um, some sort of vendetta or just because they think it's funny or cute or, or innocently, they'll trade the picture with somebody else who isn't your friend. And then they may send it to somebody else and then off it goes. It's out in the wild on the internet. And then once it's there, people uh, collect them for this purpose. Spencer says she'll be talking to her daughters about removing photos from Facebook. What she saw was a really rude awakening. It was a, it was a life lesson. A new Prakash, Channel 7 Action News.